fellow cannabis enthusiasts, it's Corey with Corey Cooks Cannabis. How y'all today? Uh, if you're not feeling zen, pick up your pen. Learn how to use your pen. Mmm, great way to start a baking session. All right, guys, we are still on the pumpkin bandwagon. I was hoping to do a crate box opening between um, the pumpkin oatmeal cookies, um, chocolate chip cookies, and um, open a crate box and then do this one. But unfortunately, my August Daily High Club box still hasn't come. So we are going to do back-to-back -back pumpkin. But this one is a tough one. Um, it's a challenge for me. Um, like I said, I am not a professional cook and, um, this one is going to be a little tough for me. It is a pumpkin muffin with pecan strudel. Sounds delicious. When I was scouring the internet and I'll have the uh, link to this recipe down in the comments for you. But when I was scouring for different pumpkin ideas, um, I came across this one and I love pecans and I just thought, mmm, the flavor and then the pecans, that will be delish. And so we're going to do this. It has to be done in three stages. That's why it's a little intimidating for me. But let's get on to it and we can do it, right? Stoner or not, we can do it. Have another puff. Because I'm not stoned. I'm learning not to get stoned, okay? All right, guys. Uh, first, of, first of all, we have five tablespoons of melted butter there. We're going to need five tablespoons of flour. Now, I really thought this through um, when I was uh, doing up the recipe. I wanted to infuse it, of course, um, but I wanted to use butter. And I find can of butter can really overpower um, anything that you put into it. It's it's very, very strong. So I'm going to hide it in the mixture itself. And we're going to use can of flour in um, the strudel part. That way it has that nice, still that sweetness and that crunch. So we're going to use the five tablespoons. It's going to be a strong one, boys and girls. And remember... Yes, I'm putting that in there. And remember, guys, I'm not a professional cook. I do not know how to medicate properly. This channel is completely and utterly for fun. Four, five. Oh, my goodness. I was talking and I wasn't counting. Five. Okay, so we have five tablespoons of flour, can of flour. We have five tablespoons of butter. We are going to put in a quarter cup of chopped pecans, three quarters of cup. This equals one cup. I'm, I'm going to do the whole one cup. I left my scissors there. So I thought, so we're just going to use the whole bag. Now this is going to be really sloppy and wet. And then we're going to do five tablespoons of Demira sugar. It's a cane sugar. It's so it's a little thicker. If you can see that, I'm going to sprinkle five of them in there. Two, three, four, and chopped pecans and cinnamon a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon into our strudel part or strews i'm not even going to really count it i love cinnamon i know i didn't put in a half a teaspoon or something so let's grab a spoon and stir that all together and then we'll stick it to the side it's going to be ooey and gooey but we want it to be because we're going to cover up our muffins with them. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. It looks delicious. This is going, yes, guys, this is going on top of our muffins. Yeah, look at that. On top of our muffins. Oh, my goodness. Let's put it to the side. I'll put it on the stove. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start the base. We're going to get our flour 
Um, no, actually, I'm going to do the creaming first. So in a dish, we want two large eggs. We want three quarters of a cup softened butter. Now, this is three quarters of a cup, and I have mixed in in the middle because my can of butter wasn't completely soft. In the middle, I put my can of butter. So the, this, what is it, half a cup? I have a half a cup of butter and then a half a or quarter cup of can of butter in there. And I think that's more than enough. Like I said, that um, can of butter, I find, can very much take over any recipe it's in. And then we need two and a half cups of sugar. I have already portioned that out here. And we're going to cream this all together. And we're going to add two eggs, but we're going to add them individually. Let me just grab my creamer here. Get this all nice and creamed together. Look, it's already cannabis green. It's awesome, guys. I'm just so excited for this recipe. I'm just, I'm actually right behind the moon on this one. Behind the moon, on the moon. Okay, I think that's good for the, for now. And now we're gonna add our egg. Oh, let's get some more, okay. Now we're gonna quickly add our eggs in there, one at a time. Ah! Well, how did that happen? Or why? There we go. My goodness. Get this all nicely incorporated. Nicely, you blend it in. And now we're gonna add the other egg and blend it in nicely. It has a nice slight green hue to it. That's exciting, guys. I hope it's not too much can of butter because I really don't want these to taste like cannabis. I do want to taste the Demir sugar. I want to taste the cinnamon. I want to taste the pumpkin. I want to taste it all. All right, that's beautifully blended. Look at that, guys. All right. I believe I'll be folding the rest in, so I'm just gonna pop these off. Usually you fold in your flour and that. Okay, so there's our sugar and our butter and our eggs all put into here. Let's put this aside and grab our flour. Now we have two cups of flour, two and a half cups already portioned out. We need in here, we need half a teaspoon, no, a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of baking powder. Sorry, baking soda. And I apologize again, that's one teaspoon of baking soda. And baking powder, where are you? Aha! It is half a teaspoon of half a teaspoon of baking powder. I just gotta be right on this. Mm, I just had a butter knife. Where did the knife go? I don't know what happens in my kitchen, guys. Weird things. Okay, so again, because I am a stoner and I mixed up, that is one teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of baking powder, please. All right, and because we um, had not um, got the sugar, it's a half a teaspoon of sugar. Sorry, I just had a brain fart there. Oh my God, I said brain fart. Okay, half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're gonna put two and a half teaspoons of 
pumpkin spice like pumpkin pie spice there we go pumpkin pie spice mix there we go and two and a half teaspoons in there one two half Okay, guys, well, I just realized the GoPro died, so you're going to get to this point, and that's the end of the GoPro. I charged it, but I guess I took too long to get ready. That's so frustrating. All right, guys, so errors do happen while we're filming. Where are we? Two and a half tables, or teaspoons, teaspoons, teaspoons of uh, pumpkin pie mix. And we're going to sift this all together. Where's the spoon? Mix it all together, get it all nicely blended. Okay, look at that. And then we're gonna put in our, oh, you know what I forgot to do, guys? I was wondering why that looked too thick. I was wondering why it looked too thick. Yeah, forgot the main, the showstopper. We did it again. No, last week we didn't forget that. We forgot uh, the sides. Fifteen ounces of pumpkin pie mix. Now we want to use pure pumpkin because we used our pumpkin. Um, we used our pumpkin pie uh, spice in here. So we're going to put this in and we're going to mix it all about. <coughs> it's a good thing my sink is clean. dry mixture into this. Get all that nicely mixed around. You can still see some butter. All right. Did we forget anything? No. All right. So I'm going to start to add the dry into here. You stay up. Thank you. Sometimes things don't do as you're told. They're told. Oh, it smells delicious. I know I just started, but I love pumpkin pie and I just can smell all of all of the goodness that's in pumpkin pie. Keep stirring this up here before we add more. Okay, while I stir this up, we have coming up, oh, I forgot the list of stuff I got coming up. I have coming up, oh, this one's really exciting. Um, this one, I hope uh, it, it appeals to a lot of you. Um, it is going to be an almond um, spice, almond spice cookie um, made with almond flour. Everything in it is going to be gluten-free and uh, sugar-free. 
I think I bought the sugar substitute. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, so it's going to be exciting. It's a new adventure. I have not done a gluten-free anything in my life. So that's going to be exciting. Um, what else? Here, I'm stopped and I'm talking to you and I'm supposed to be talking to you and stirring. <laughs> um, so that's really exciting. If you guys have some gluten-free recipes that you would like me to try, by all means, please leave a comment in the comment section. Um, I love to get to know you and see, maybe try on some of your own family recipes. See, it said 15 ounces. That seems like an awful lot of pumpkin. It's not getting any solid. I think I was only supposed to put a cup of pumpkin in. Hmm. What a conundrum. Oh no, it's getting thick. It's just going to be a thicker, a runnier one because of the pumpkin. There we go. That's getting the consistency I want. Perfect. Okay. So if you have some gluten-free, like I said, down in the comment section, or any old recipe you want me to try, I am game for anything. To me, um, cooking at home, doing my own infusions um, is fun. It's, it's a lot of fun. And you can do it for yourself, too. Okay. So we got this all incorporated. And we're going to stick it in. Let's get all this extra powder. There we go. Now, this is a pre-greased. I've already greased these out. And you're going to fill them to the top. Hang on a second. My counter got full. All right, guys. You can't see me, of course, because the GoPro is gone. But you're going to take a nice big scoop. You're going to put it right in the thing, and you're going to fill it up full. Big scoop. Right in the cup, nice and full. Big scoop, right in the cup. And you're gonna cook these, oh, what are we gonna cook these at? Corey. Corey lost her recipe. Corey threw it in the garbage. Corey, Corey, Corey. We gotta talk to this girl. All right, guys, um, what was I looking? Oh, what are we going to cook it at? 350 degrees for 18 minutes. You can freeze these up to three months in a resealable bag or a container for up to about three months. So they're nice if you take them out the night before, maybe out of the fridge, have a nice kickoff before you go to work. No, I'm not advocating eat these before you go to work. I'm not advocating that at all because I work from home and I I don't have a boss who tells me I can and cannot smoke it. At home. So I'm not advocating that by any means. But if you want to go for a nice hike, perhaps in the morning or go out and do your workout, I'm going to fill these up super full. Like, I can use another muffin tin, I guess. But I kind of don't want to. Because I want these nice and puffy. I want that strudel nicely on it. I really, dang, I'm really upset about the GoPro. I'm so excited when I got them because I could do overshots and it makes my life easier doing the overshots and then it goes and dies the battery oh well guys it's the little things right be thankful and speaking of being thankful oh my goodness how did I dare forget happy Thanksgiving to all my Canadian friends it is uh, Thanksgiving this weekend at our house, it's going to be tomorrow night. 
and most Canadians, I think, do it on Sunday. Um, I think a fair amount do it on Monday too, but generally, I think everybody does it on um, Mon or Sunday. And that way you still have Monday, which is the holiday, off to work off your turkey dinners and all of that stuff. Zoe, go lay down. Oh, I think I filled these up real nice and full. Okay, now let's spoon on the strudel. What do you think, guys? All about even? If I threw a little bit out, I'm not going to be upset by it. The main thing is that there we go. Paper towel, wipe my fingers, get our strudel. Oh my goodness, look at that. Now it said to put it on with your hands, but I don't know. Okay, I will. That has our cannabis flower. Oh my goodness, these are gonna be strong. But that was my goal in the first place to make them strong, so I'll tell you next week when we hopefully do a crepe box opening. But I don't have hope for my daily high book club daily high club box to come, to be honest with you. Oops, I think I put too much on some of them. <laughs> Here, have some strudel. <laughs> Force my sugar on you. <laughs> All right, guys. When we come back, we should have a nice, beautiful product to show off, hopefully. That one didn't have any pecans. And on you. There we go. All right, guys. I'm going to shove this in the frit oven. The weight of them, I'm going to cook them for 25 minutes. All right, guys. Until the next time, please always stay zen. Stay tuned. And I'll have the muffins to show you. Bye. All right, we're back, cannabis enthusiasts. It's Corey again. Um, we got our muffins done. They are out of the oven. They are beautiful. Look at them. They are awesome. They're really spongy feeling, kind of different, but they, oh, they smell delicious. All right, guys, until next week when we do the almond flour cookies, um, I'll see you then. Until then, guys, please always remember, stay zen. Bye.